In the grand tapestry of Outlander, each season unfurls with unexpected twists and turns, and the seventh season proves to be no exception. Episode 5 presents the Fraser's relentless struggle amidst the atrocities of the American Revolution, a stark reminder of the toll of war on individuals and families. In the heart of the turmoil, the Frasers find themselves departing from their home in North Carolina. The unexpected revelation that the family does not return to Scotland serves as a stark reminder of the hardships and uncertainties they continue to face. More striking is the news of Claire and Jamie's involvement in the war. Their forced participation marks a new chapter of challenges and tumultuous experiences for the pair. Bree, on the other hand, is grappling with an entirely different battle. Transported to the 1980s, she experiences the palpable resistance from her male colleagues at her workplace, a reflection of the societal norms and gender biases prevalent during that period. Her storyline illuminates the struggles faced by women in male-dominated environments, a narrative thread that carries a significant weight in the larger narrative of Outlander. An equally compelling storyline unfolds with Ian, who is sent to a Mohawk village. Here, he is reunited with his ex-wife and child, a reunion fraught with a mix of emotions. The complexity of their relationship, the shared history, and the inevitable awkwardness of their reunion add layers to Ian's character arc and contribute to the wider narrative tension. Simultaneously, William embarks on yet another adventure, one that lands him in a perilous situation. His ability to extricate himself showcases his resourcefulness and determination, traits that define his character throughout the series. As the episode draws to a close, Brie must prepare to face the ghosts of her past. This suggests that upcoming episodes will delve deeper into Brie's personal journey, tackling her past experiences and how they shape her present circumstances. Examining the gender dynamics at her workplace, reuniting Ian with his ex-wife and child, thrusting William into danger, all these narrative threads coalesce to form a riveting episode that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. Each storyline is thoughtfully woven into the overall narrative arc, showcasing the expert storytelling that Outlander is renowned for. Ultimately, Episode 5 of Outlander Season 7 demonstrates the resilience of the Fraser family as they navigate their way through the tumultuous American Revolution. As they face a myriad of personal and societal challenges, their individual journeys intersect in ways that contribute to the series' overarching narrative. Through the hardships, the conflicts, and the unexpected reunions, the Frasers continue to demonstrate their ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. While Outlander is often lauded for its epic historical setting and time-traveling premise, at its core, it is a story about characters and their complex relationships. This is best exemplified in this episode, where individual storylines are as integral to the narrative as the larger historical events that unfold around them. As we delve deeper into Season 7, it's these character arcs, filled with personal conflicts and growth, that keep us invested in the world of Outlander. What do you guys think about this subject? I welcome your thoughts in the comments. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and like our video. See you again, goodbye.